Grade 5 math, number 6.7. Subtract unlike mixed number fractions by renaming. I want to remember an improper fraction has a numerator that is bigger than its denominator. See the 12 is bigger than the 7? That's an improper fraction that actually equals 1 and 5 sevenths. Okay, so keep that in mind. We can do the subtraction of unlike mixed numbers by renaming just one of the numbers. In this problem, 4 and a half minus 1 and 3 fifths, the first thing we're going to do is make common denominators. The 2 and the 5 need to meet. So we make multiples of the 2 and multiples of the 5, and we decide to let them meet at tens house. Then we see that the 6 numerator is too big to subtract from the 5 tenths numerator. See that? So we need to rename the 4 and 5 tenths. Well, knowing that 10 tenths is the same thing as 1, what we do is we take a 10 tenths out of the 4, it becomes a 3, and we add the 10 tenths to the 5 tenths. It now becomes 3 and 15 tenths, and we slide our 1 and 6 tenths over, and then we can subtract. 15 take away 6 is 9. We slide our tens down. 3 take away 1 is 2. See that? So, if you're confused about this part, the 5 said, what do I need to become a 10? So it multiplied by 2. So the 3 multiplied by 2. The 2 said, what do I need to become 10? And it was that it needed to be multiplied by 5, and the top got jealous. Okay? That was in the last couple of videos. You should know that by now, okay, if you're on this video. You can always go back if you found this video randomly. So, sometimes we have to rename one of the mixed numbers when we're subtracting unlike mixed fractions. Now, sometimes we do both, okay? So, you, we can subtract the mixed numbers by renaming one of them and regrouping its fraction into an improper fraction but sometimes we need to rename both, and it'll make it easier on us. When we have the problem 2 and a half minus 1 and 6 sevenths, we need to find a common denominator, so we make a list of their multiples. For the 2, it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. For the 7, it's 7, 14, 21, and we already see that the 14 matches, so we stop. We're going to have them meet at 14's house. 7 needs to be multiplied by 2 to become 14, 6 is jealous, he gets multiplied by 2. 2 needs to be multiplied by 7 to become 14. 1 is jealous, it gets 7 also. So now we've got 2 and 7 fourteenths and 1 and 12 fourteenths, but the 12 numerator is too big to subtract from the 7. So what we do is, knowing that 14 fourteenths is the same thing as 1, we turn the 1 and 12 fourteenths into a 14 fourteenths and a 12 fourteenths Add them together to get 26 fourteenths. This one, knowing that 14 fourteenths is 1, we turn the 14 14, the 2, into two of them. See? Here's 1, 2, and we add it to the 7 fourteenths. Now we've got 35 fourteenths. Now we can take 35, we have 35, and we can take the 26 away and get 9 fourteenths. See? So we ended up doing it to both numbers. We turned them all into just real big improper fractions. See that? And then we subtracted the numerators. So remember, we got lucky this time, but remember, sometimes fractions need to be reduced, don't they? We can't leave them. What if it had said 9 eighteenths? Well, then we would know that it was really 1 half, and we would have had to reduce it, okay? so. You can either rename one or rename both, and how you rename them is by remembering that when the numerator and the denominator are the same, it equals one, okay? I'll see you next video. Try practicing this. Bye!